Hello, I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on our Christmas in July felt mosaic candle jar. That is our take and make craft kits for adults. That's going to be available through the end of July or while supplies last. In your bag, you're going to have a glass jar, a length of ribbon, some felt scraps in red and green because it's Christmas in July, and a foam brush. So your first step that you're going to want to do is to cut your felt scraps into your preferred shape. I already have a couple here that I've cut into triangles. And as you can see, I'm just kind of free cutting it. I'm not going to make sure they're all the same size. I'm not going to worry about the exact shape. I just want some triangles. Now you can do this with circles or squares, however you prefer. And then your next step is going to be getting your craft glue. I'm using Eileen's Tacky Glue. You can use pretty much any craft glue. Um, glitter glue might come out cool. Whatever you would prefer to use or whatever you have at home. Now, I like to put mine in a bowl or a plate because it helps to um, make it easier to spread on. So what you're gonna do is take your foam brush and get some glue and just brush it on. Now with this, it goes on white. It will dry clear, but it's gonna give kind of a frosted effect. And that's just because of the type of glue it is. Um, Eileen's clear tacky glue should dry completely clear if you use that. And you wanna do this section by section so that your glue doesn't dry out. And then you just start layering on your felt pieces. You just kind of place them however you would like. And you want to leave some space in between them for light to shine through. But keep in mind, light will also shine through the felt itself. You want to make sure before you start, you have enough pieces cut out to cover the area you're working on. So I feel a little shy, so I'm gonna to have to cut a couple more. Oh, or I had one hiding. Okay, so that is step one. And then you're gonna continue doing this all around the whole jar until it's covered. And then you're gonna let the jar dry and once it's dry, you can add your ribbon and finish. And we'll just pull up here. This is what your finished product will look like if you choose to use your ribbon. And now if you look, I did a couple different techniques. I did large and small pieces. I did just large pieces and I did just small pieces. Just to kind of show you that there's really no wrong way to make this. It's kind of fun to make it your own. And now I have a battery operated candle. You can use a regular flame candle, that shouldn't be an issue. You're just gonna wanna make sure that your ribbon is not anywhere near the flame if you do that. And then you can just drop it in. Now if you prefer not to use the ribbon, this is what it'll look like without the ribbon. And if you don't wanna use this as a candle jar, you do have the jar lid. So you have the option of decorating that as well and putting that on top. I hope you enjoy your Christmas in July felt mosaic candle jar. And remember, if you post any pictures of it on social media, be sure to tag Amherst Public Library so we can see it. Have a good day.